Roy Halladay was doubtlessly one of the best pitchers of his era. He's a two-time Cy Young Award winner, an eight-time All-Star, and also has a regular season perfect game and a postseason no-hitter to his credit. And his pitch arsenal was filthy and so much fun to watch. I mean, check out these ridiculous curveballs going from head to feet. Just absolute beautiful stuff. You can't hit them because they're just too pretty. And then there's these front door two-seamers, which, as Trevor Williams put it, they're objectively sexy pitches. As a left-handed hitter, it looks like it's coming right at your hip and then sneaks over the plate. These two-seamers would leave hitters frozen like a statue in the box. Halliday also had a disgusting changeup. I mean, look at these things just drop. With this already lethal arsenal, you can see why the Yankees were kind of pissed off when Mariano Rivera taught Roy Halliday his cutter and then actually traced his hand on a ball. Rivera's teammates were a little less happy. Guys, they're specifically, <laughs> and the rest of the guys, they, they find me in kangaroo, kangaroo court. court. Mm -hmm. You know, because they say, oh, it was your fault that uh, you teach him and he's getting us without me. It's all your he fault, was though. nasty. Oh, my God. And, and those main guys, come on, man. I know hitting. You guys are the ones <laughs> yes. hitting. Just hit him, you know. And you can't really blame them. After all, Calday was their division rival. I mean, what better pitch to add to an already ridiculous arsenal than maybe the best pitch of all time? Giving an already great pitcher an all-time great pitch? Well, that's the stuff legends are made of. By adding a cutter to his arsenal, hitters couldn't tell the difference between a cutter that might hit them or a two-seamer that might end up in the middle of the plate. That is unfair.